Cargo ship stuck at sea off the coast of Fort Lauderdale and they've been there for four months. This morning we're finally hearing from members of that stranded crew. Local 10 News reporter Sonella Sabovic is live in Fort Lauderdale with this strange story. Good morning, Sonella. Good morning, Nikki and Todd. Those 11 crew members have been stranded off the coast of Fort Lauderdale for nearly four months now, and that's all thanks to a debt the ship's owners haven't paid off. And to make matters worse, these men can't leave that seized vessel or even go back to their homeland. For me, it's first time I, I, I had a situation like this. Sebastian, along with 10 other men, have been stuck on board this cargo ship called the Delphinus since April. The boat has been seized and placed under arrest by the U.S. Marshals Service and remains anchored about a mile off the coast of Fort Lauderdale. Life on board a vessel under arrest is very, very stressful. And the stress is all due to an unpaid debt. The owners of the ship owe money to a charter company. So for now, crews are forced to stay put and can't return to their homeland until they fulfill their contracts with the vessel's owners. To make matters worse, they can't even leave the ship. They've gone over the 27 day rule that allows them to have free uh, shore leave. If, if, they, if this had been day 24 in the 27 day rule, they could be wandering around town enjoying Fort Lauderdale. Customs and Border Patrol have stepped in to allow some crew members to leave the vessel. They in, in fact have allowed uh, six crew members that have been on board the longest to come, uh, come ashore and spend a few hours here at Seafarer's House, being able to walk on terra firma and be away from the environmental stress of being cooped up and, and detained aboard the vessel. The seafarer's house in Port Everglades has become a means of support for the stranded crew members. Each time it's been in port, uh, our chaplains, myself or one of our other chaplains, have been on board and met with the crew, counseled with them, prayed with them, and provided pastoral care. Now those three crew members that you did see in the piece there were only granted permission to leave that boat for a few hours. They've since returned back to the vessel. This case is currently being litigated throughout the U.S. federal court system. And if nothing comes out of that, the ship is eligible to be up for auction come August 11th. And if there is a buyer, these men may have the possibility of returning back home within the next couple of weeks. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.